if you take a closer look at Copenhagen, um, the first pedestrian street was was made already in 1962, and that was one of the first major pedestrianization schemes in Europe. That was sort of at the very beginning of the whole movement of taking interest in public space right here in Copenhagen. And there was a furious public debate. It would never work in Denmark. We are Danes, we are not Italians. We will not come out, we will not walk. We have no tradition for urban life and whatever. And the, all the businesses would go broke. There was enormous resistance from, from the shops. But um, experience shows that uh, they didn't lose sale and uh, that was actually a good thing for them also. And some of the businessmen who yelled the highest 40 years ago now would pretend that they got the idea in the first place. This is just one of the many streets which has changed dramatically here in Copenhagen. Um, until 1980, this was a parking lot for 96 cars. They were standing next to each other with the front to the water. Then the, these parked cars were taken out and the traffic was taken out. It was turned into a people's street and has become a tremendous success. On any day, especially in the summer, you will see a fantastic life here. Sometimes even almost too much, too popular. That's, if you don't have enough nice spaces, you can see these overcrowded spaces, but then you should just make more spaces. This street is, is quite interesting because this street is not a pedestrian street. It's not a traffic street. It is what we call a pedestrian priority street. That means it's paved from wall to wall with nice pavement, but it is uh, open to pedestrians and to bicycles and to cars. The bicycles can go through from one end to the other, and the pedestrians can go through from one end to the other, but the cars, they have uh, one-way streets which are turned so that you can only go for one sector at a time but it's, uh, there's no through traffic of cars. Only those who really have something to do here come here. And you have this wonderful, rather nice mix of people walking and bicycling and a car sneaking through from time to time, but always in eye contact. He's pretty scared of running into somebody, so he'll go very slowly. And at this point, we are more flexible about uh, not being so fundamentalistic about pedestrian or traffic, but now we sort of experiment with in between, with a higher degree of integration of the various modes of traffic. I think if I should give some advice to a city, it could be any city in the world. That is uh, to try to take the people in the city seriously, more seriously, just as seriously as we are, have been used to take the traffic of cars. Uh, all the cities have this traffic department, get all these data all the time about the traffic. They know everything, but when it comes to people in the city, we know.